everyone, it's Nicole, and I have another layout using the June roundabout kit from Studio Calico. And I had cut up these, I had taken a piece of small chipboard or not so thick chipboard that comes in whenever you buy paper and it's in the back of it. And I had taken a ruler and it's probably 30 videos back or so, 20, 30 videos. And I had taken a ruler and made little sun rays with the entire sheet and then I cut it. So if you want to see how I did that, it's on the other video. Because what I did was I just kept it and I'm going to keep using it over and over again. So there's 16 different piece of the pie, if you want to call it. And then what I do is I just take the pieces and use it as a template. Draw it on my pattern paper. I write the number down on the pattern paper because otherwise... I forget which order it's going to go in and this is a great way one to use up a lot of scraps because um, even if you have little leftovers um, you, you can use you know use them and two it's a nice way to showcase all the pattern papers that maybe not all but a lot of the pattern papers that came in in a certain month's kit like this month I was able to showcase 16 different of the pattern papers and so I'm, it takes a few minutes you know to kind of use that chipboard and draw it all out and I draw it with a pencil then it's easily erased and then I cut it out with my trimmer because I find with the scissors one the pencil line is so faint that if it's a dark paper it's hard to see and two, it's a long strip to keep going straight. So I kind of arrange it on my table in the order that it's going in. So then I can kind of see, you know, I want to put patterns next to each other that doesn't clash so, you know, very much. I want it to kind of look good. And at one point I noticed that, you know, I was putting the wrong numbers where they needed to go. So I just kind of took all the chipboard out again laid them out on my table so that and then I'm just going to keep replacing it with the pattern paper as I cut it out then I know which one I've cut and then I make sure that you know it kind of coordinates when they're next to each other so this is the 15th layout using the roundabout kit and it took me two hours and 16 minutes and if you watched um, Glitter Girl her last episode uh, just this past Wednesday she did an episode and she called it then and the next week it's going to be now and so I actually had these pictures because what I do I mean we all have so many pictures is I go through my pictures you know once in a while and I pick out maybe 20 to 30 that I want a scrapbook and I'll put like four or five for each event or each page that I want to scrapbook. I put them in a different container and then I pick out of those. I don't go in anywhere else. I pick out of those for the next pictures I want to scrapbook. And it just kind of, again, it's the same as a kit. It just kind of brings it down for me so that I am not overwhelmed by all the pictures that I have. I just say, okay, these are the next 20 pictures I'm going to scrapbook. And it can be like 10 layouts or, you know, seven layouts, however many pictures per layout. And then once I've exhausted all those pictures, then I do it again. I go through a whole bunch of different pictures and I choose some more. So this picture that I had uh, that I'm scrapbooking today, that was in my pile to get scrapbooked in the next few layouts. And it's a picture of my son. And he was actually on his way to his grade eight prom. And um, it was like his first date and everything. And before he left, I had to work. So I couldn't go and, you know, drive him and all this stuff. But my husband did. And so I don't have pictures of him at the prom or anything like that. Um, but I took a picture of him before he left. And there's a picture on the wall of him when he was like two. 
and then him now when he's 13. So I said, oh, look, look, my baby and my big, you know, my little baby and my big baby. <laughs> so I uh, took pictures. So when she did that, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It's, it won't be two layouts for me. It's going to be one layout because the then and the now is in the exact same photo. So that's going to be my title for this week. It's going to be then and now. Okay, so the recording stopped. And um, so I'm just kind of fussing, trying to figure out where these piece of the pie should go. And uh, when I end up putting them back together, I find it doesn't fit exactly the same. So I don't know if my piece of chipboard was a little bigger than 12 by 12 or I didn't cut exactly on the line and I cut on the outside of the line but anyway I just kind of fuss and then I end up cutting the outside anyway so it doesn't um, it doesn't matter so once I feel good about the whole placement I'm going to spend some time and I'm going to glue them all in so hopefully I didn't say this already I don't think so because the recording stopped after five minutes and um so I babbled on for 17 minutes and only five minutes taped. So I've gonna, I'm going to have to do it, you know, most of it over again. So this is the 15th layout using the roundabout June Studio Calico kit. And it took me two hours and 16 minutes. And this is a great way to use a lot of your scraps is using this template and another thing it does, it helps you, you know, showcase all the pictures, or not the pictures, the pattern papers that were in a specific month's kit. So as you can tell, I'm having a little bit of trouble because it was, you know, a big gap. So I have to kind of bring them down more into the page. And by doing that, then they are more together. And it doesn't matter that it overlaps in the middle a little bit because that's usually where you're going to put your photos and, you know, your journaling things so it it won't show it won't um, you won't see it so at this point I had just put a little bit of ATG tape so I'm going to now use my quick dry adhesive and glue them down and I'm having a bit of trouble with my quick dry adhesive and it's because I realized later that the cap is full of glue so when I put down my nozzle into it I don't think it's closing properly so it's clogging all the time so in the next video, you're going to see me unclog it. So at this point, I'm going to shave off or cut off some on each side. And then I'm going to stick it on my page. And I'm trying to figure out which way I want it to go. And now I'm going to, I want to do a white outline. And I go through all my gel pens and none of them are working properly. And you're going to see me go through four or five of them and none of them are working. And that one right there, that's a brand new one that I just bought from Studio Calico and it's not working. So I didn't want to fuss too much with it because, you know, I was filming. So I'm going to have to spend some time and try to figure out what's going on. So I end up taking out my... A studio uh, calico calico white with a paintbrush and I'm going to outline my cardstock that way and then I'm going to glue my background down with some ATG tape and I'm going to mount my photo on some corrugated black paper and it just I mean on the video you can't see but in person it gives it a lot of dimension and I really like it so I stepped away because the battery died and I'm going to go through a lot of the layout and then realized that I want to outline each and every one of that pie. So I'm, I'm going to be at the point where I want to start gluing it down and then I'm going to have to go back and outline everything. I just took a paper distressor and distressed the edges of that corrugated paper. And I know, like I said, a while ago that I want the title to be then and now I'm going to use some of these stickers that we got in last month's kit and then some October afternoon um, mini markets 
And then for the word now, I'm going to go through three different kinds of letters. These the first ones were from Basic Gray. These ones are from Heidi Swap. And the next one is also going to be from Basic Gray. <clears throat> and they're a gray font. But I do end up choosing the aqua ones from Basic Gray. The first ones I took out. And I did take out some enamel dots, but I end up deciding on using those little metal ones, the black ones that we got in this month's kit from Hero Arts. So now I, I thought maybe I want to use some of those labels, but I decide against it. I go through my six by six paper pads and um, some Bella Boulevard die cuts and I decide on that star and I take out a few other things, but I don't end up using them. And now I'm going to go through my six by six paper pads now and I'm going to cut out um, a die cut and a, I'm going to um, rip out a few pattern papers and I'm going to use them on this layout as <clears throat> basing or a background or a ground a grounding element for my clusters and I'm going to take out that wood green and then the next one is going to be a striped black and cream pattern paper. So I'm going to uh, punch out a couple of circles using my three inch punch or sorry, two and a half inch punch. And this is the striped paper I'm going to use. And I'm going to make three clusters. And at first, I think I'm going to make the cluster at the top of the layout. But as I was rearranging the pattern papers in that pie cluster, there's one that I ended up ripping. So I'm going to put my cluster at that space just so I can hide that pattern paper that's ripped. And then I took out that cream paper and it's like a journaling pattern paper from a six by six pad and it's cream and black so it coordinates much better than that journaling card that I had there before. So I'm going to go through quite a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a bit of putting the layout together and this is where I realized, oops, I forgot to outline. So I move everything over and I'm going to take my journaling pen and I'm going to outline everything. And I don't take my time. I really go really kind of fast. And I don't mind that my lines are all kind of wiggly waggly. Okay, so it stopped again. So I was just saying that I don't mind that the lines are, you know, all kind of wiggly waggly because it's to add texture. And that background is so busy that it just kind of adds you know, so that it kind of separates it from one, from one another. And now I'm going to start gluing everything down using my quick dry adhesive. And I'm going to put some foam tape in behind that die cut. And the battery had died again. So when I came back, this is where I realized, oh yeah, my pattern paper is all ripped up. So I'm going to do my cluster here so that I I can hide this and I'm going to put some foam tape in behind that love this die cut and also the star and the foam tape I got a custom crops for $33 but I think they're 40 some dollars but you can go to scrapbooking warehouse and they have it for $30 and it's from scotch 3m and it's a massive roll and you're going to see I'm going to take it out right now for um or in a little bit for the star and you're going to see and I've used up quite a bit from it. So <clears throat> I had a flag at the top of the die cut so I want to take out some more flags so I took out that metal one that we got last month and also the metal die from basic gray that I put to the left of that new little cluster that I made because I ripped the pattern paper. So that was the last one I had so I used them up and then I took out some wood veneers and I'm going to color them in with my Mr. Huey inky black and I'm going to put out or put out I'm going to 
color them in twice just so that they coordinate with the page. And then this is where I put the foam tape on the star. And I'm going to glue it down. And the battery is going to die as I'm putting, I guess I'm going to put my, um, camera and what I use for the camera it's quick grip from beacon you can get that at Michael's and you can use your coupon and I use that on all metal embellishments and as I'm putting down um, and now I'm going to work I've done this three or four times so I don't remember what I said and didn't say so sorry if you get a lot of repeats um, I don't know why I keep stopping I even shut down my computer computer and restart it to try to avoid this and it's still doing it so I don't know what's going on so I decided on those basic gray letters and now I'm going to take out some twine and I'm going to put it at the three clusters and the twine is black and white and I believe next I'm going to put down my stars and while I'm putting down my stars the battery's going to die and I'm just going to tell you what I did because I didn't want to wait for the battery to charge up again and do that. The only thing I did was I added some metal dots from Hero Arts that we got in this month's kit and I also punched out some butterflies from that chevron paper. It had a little bit of red on it, so I just punched that out and added it to the page. You can see a butterfly right there and a metal dot. And if you want to see some still pictures, you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket and Studio Calico, or you can join me on my Facebook group, and the link for the Facebook group is down below. And you can just search for Nicole Jones 911. So that's it. The page is done. So hopefully it recorded the whole thing. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Bye.